If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today we've got another unboxing. This one from Kaiser. Kaiser reached out to me and they said, hey, uh, would you like to check out some of our knives? And I said, sure. And they said, great, it's on its way. And at no point did I ever ask them what's in the box. It just kind of skipped my mind because I've you know what? At the end of the day, I just figured sometimes surprises are good. I'm doing the unboxing with the Devo Nip, which is a really, really good knife, especially for opening packages and boxes. If you want to see the review on this one, I'll link it right there. But I'm curious, what is in this box? Because I really have no freaking clue. But I like it that way. I have no idea what's in here, but I do know that it is one of their midline type boxes, which means that it's probably not super premium. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the Kaiser Assassin 3 inch. Um, never checked out an Assassin before, but there's a first time for everything. Shout out to uh, Kaiser for sending this my way and thank you. Uh, looks like we got a drop bear sticker in the package. That's nifty. A uh, Kaiser sticker as well. If you don't know, I love stickers. It seems like sometimes my real hobby is actually collecting stickers. Inside this envelope is going to be your cleaning cloth, and then inside this plastic bag is going to be the knife. And this is the Kaiser Assassin. Something else that I want to point out that I just noticed, they sent some extra screws. That's pretty cool. So I set everything aside because um, I just wanted to look at this. I've never actually checked out a Kaiser Assassin before, but this is definitely my Carta. I'm guessing steel liners. Let's go ahead and verify. Oh yeah, definitely steel. What about the backspacer? Steel as well, and then of course, steel pocket clip. I don't imagine that this one is going to be super expensive, but I don't know if it's going to be super inexpensive either. If I had to take my guess, I would guess that this is probably somewhere in the realm of about 70 or 80 bucks. Um, I'll pop the price up on the screen because I'll find out after I record this. But this is the Kaiser Assassin. The very first thing that pops into my head is this kind of apocalyptic battle-worn micarta finish. That's actually pretty cool. Looks like it's a single-sided captive pivot. Lots of jimping up here on this drop point blade that has this swedge. On the blade itself, you can see that it's 154 cm. We've got the Kaiser logo there. And then on the back, it says Assassin with a bit of a product number. This worn micarta look is actually pretty cool. Uh, the pocket clip is not inset, but it does have flathead screws. Uh, looking on the inside there, you can see the milling. It doesn't feel super heavy, but it does feel solid. That action is really good, actually. Yeah, that is actually surprisingly good. You know, I never really request that my knives come pre-worn. I'm not really a fan of, you know, stressed jeans, you know, factory pre-stressed jeans. It's not my thing, but I actually kind of dig that. Uh, it's it's interesting to me because when you get a finish like this on a knife, especially with the stone wash, you're not going to feel bad about using it. You're not going to feel bad about putting it through its paces. Let's do a quick QC check. Lockup, no blade play, no pivot lash. Uh, what about detent lash? Nope. How good is the detent? Uh, detent is good enough for a plunge lock. Now I know typically speaking on button lock knives uh, with the plunge lock design, sometimes we tend to see some lock stick or some button stick. I, I'm i not really feeling any button stick, so that's good. What about blade centering? That looks to be, yeah, dead on centered, right on. Uh, the backspacer does also allow you to do a lanyard hole, which is pretty sweet. If you're going to put a lanyard hole in my knives, uh, don't put it through the scales, put it through the backspacer in some variation. That is definitely the way to go. Looks like we've got a couple open screw holes here. Uh, so that pocket clip is going to be reversible. Let's do a quick hardware check. Pin 
Pivot is T8. Body screws look like they are T6. A little bit of a nitpick there, but you know what? We can live with that. Uh, we have to live with that a lot on knives these days. Even though we ask for lots and lots of T8 body screws, it seems like we don't get them very often. The most defining feature that I'm noticing on this so far has got to be that action. That action is ridiculously smooth. Let's do a couple quick comparisons. Uh, here's a good one. How about up against the CJRB Warney Pyrite? That's actually a really close comparison as far as length. As far as handle scale thickness, it's not even close. The Kaiser Assassin is, is much thicker. Thicker. What about the blade thickness at the spine? Uh, the Warney Pyrite is going to be a little bit thinner, but something that is just gruesomely sticking out to me is the jimping on the spine of this blade. I love jimping. Look, when you're holding a sharp object, and hopefully if you're carrying a knife, it's sharp, you want to have a good purchase on it. That is some good jimping. It's not super deep, but it is deep enough where it does give you some extra purchase in a saber type grip. I like the fact that this jimping is going to be the length of your thumb. It seems like they've been listening to people on that or at least the designer thought of that. I'm getting kind of an apocalyptic feel to this knife and I really enjoy it. I like exposed backspacers, especially when they have extra jimping. And in my hands, I actually can get a full four finger grip. That is nice. This knife is super fidgety. The flipper tab works well. There is jimping here. I do kind of wish that the jimping was a little bit deeper on that flipper tab. Not to worry, it does not affect it. It's just something where I could see that your hand could potentially slip off. Mine is not, I'm not having any issues with that. I also find myself wishing that it had a thumb stud or a deployment hole. That would be pretty nice. Balance. Yeah, balance is pretty good. I can index this knife really well. Also, it's not necessarily telling you where to put your fingers. We do have a little bit of an index finger groove there, but I'm assuming that's where you would put it anyways, and that's not going to get in the way. I'm not feeling any hot spots. Overall, this feels pretty good. That action is nice. I have to say, I have seen reviews of this before and people have talked about button stick. I don't have any button stick on this knife. Very fidgety. The ergos feel confident in the hand. I don't expect this to be an expensive knife. Again, I was estimating about 70 or 80 bucks. Uh, hopefully I was close to the mark because this is actually pretty sweet. I don't believe that this is a new model. I do think that this has been out for about a year. So I'm officially curious. What are your thoughts on the Kaiser Assassin? So far, so good. This micarta for me, uh, I actually like it more than I think I would if I had just seen pictures online because it already looks like it's been carried. It already looks like it's been beat on. This is a knife that I think you wouldn't have any issue carrying to work with you, throwing in the truck bed, you know, tossing around, putting it to its test. 154 CM is a very, very nicely well-rounded steel. I'm glad that we're seeing that and not something like Bowler N690 or Nitro V, I would actually far prefer 154 CM. That's nice. I would have liked to have seen a titanium backspacer and a titanium pocket clip, but for all I know, maybe they do have a more premium version of this, probably in 20 CV and carbon fiber. I don't know, but I am interested to hear what your thoughts are. Have you checked out the Kaiser Assassin before? Um, if not, why not? Do you have one? Let me know in the comments section down below. And guys, if you want one of these, I am positive that they're available. I'll make sure to drop a link in the description down below. And if you wanna watch more awesome knife content, make sure you click on one of the videos that pops up next.